as real estate agents, do we owe a fiduciary duty to the buyers and sellers that we work with? Welcome to the Real Estate Game Plan Podcast, where we bring you inspiration, actionable steps, and knowledge to build your game plan to take your real estate business to the next level. My name is Demo. And I'm Derek, and we are licensed real estate brokers and your hosts for this podcast. Let's get started. So that is the question. As real estate agents, do we owe a fiduciary duty? What do you think the answer is? What do you think most people think the answer is? Uh, I've always heard, and in pre-license real estate school, that every real estate agent owes a fiduciary responsibility to a member of the public or a client, or a customer, or their family or friend, or themselves, or I don't even know. Okay, well, that's not a, that's not a bad guess. But uh, actually, no, we don't. In Georgia, now I will say, Georgia is very different than a lot of other states because of an act that we have here in Georgia called Beretta. It's the Brokerage Relationships and Real Estate Transactions Act. And it overrides common law of agency. Hmm. Now, a common law of agency, you can create a client relationship and, and serve as a fiduciary, et cetera, et cetera. But Beretta kind of steps in and says, whoa, you're only a client if you have a brokerage engagement agreement with someone and very specifically says that we don't owe a fiduciary duty unless you tell them that you do, unless you want to override, which you'd never really want to do. Uh, you wouldn't want to add a special step to state that you were a fiduciary. You actually wouldn't owe. Yeah. Um, maybe this kind of helps. Some examples of fiduciaries are a uh, executor of an estate. That would be an example. Um, and most of us, as real estate agents, we're just not we're not in that uh, in that capacity. So yeah, I, I, you know, kind of going back to the beginning there. Um, so many agents believe that that's the case for real estate agents in general. You know, like I said, a lot of times uh, they learn it as they're going through the real estate process. Right. And, and so, which is, uh, you know, which is different, but uh, but it's a good thing, right? Um, it is a good thing. And just to be clear, that doesn't mean we don't owe honesty, truthfulness to the parties that we work with. We always owe a duty to be, to be truthful. But usually fiduciary is tied to money and is the utmost standard. Mm -hmm. And as real estate licensees here in Georgia, uh, we are working on behalf of our brokerage firm. And if there is a conflict between the law and our client, we have a duty at that point to abide by the by the law. So mm -hmm. it's not a power of attorney, mm -hmm. executor type of situation. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe sometimes there is a little bit of a misuse of the word fiduciary. Mm -hmm. But don't be mistaken. That doesn't mean that we're not truthful or that you're not going to um, work in your client's best interests. But you're technically not a fiduciary. And that is a good thing. Yeah, that's a great thing. And, and uh, I, I definitely understand that you have a great video on how to fill out those documents, buyer brokerage agreements, listing agreements, yes. to make that uh, connection there where the person is now a client for the real estate agent. And, and we'll post that in the show notes. Yes, we will. Because one other thing about Breda that is uh, is a good thing for us here in Georgia is there are a list of, of, of terms and definitions, which we won't bore you with, but customer and client. Mm -hmm. So seller, a buyer is only a client if they've signed off on a brokerage engagement agreement with us, such as the buyer brokerage agreement that will link seller listing agreement. That's when they formally become a client. Otherwise, they would just be a customer. Yep. And we'll talk more about that on another session. And uh, we appreciate you listening and watching today. And uh, let us know what you think about this uh, video. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Thank you. You've been listening to the Real Estate Game Plan Podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube and leave us a five-star review on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for listening.